Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the exception handling in the GraphQL APIs. In the last video, we discussed about the two methods which we implemented that was updating the movie object and deleting the movie object in the database, right? So what we did was we were, the first common step that we did in both of the methods were we passed an integer ID and then we fetched the movie object, right? And if the movie object we got, then we uh, either updated the movie object or deleted the movie object. But in the case when the ID was invalid, we throw a runtime exception. And you have seen in the last uh, video that a big stack trace was coming up and generalized exception was coming up, right? So here we are throwing the exception basically in the case of uh, invalid ID, we are not handling it. So first thing is we need to handle this exception and second, we need to make the exception as customized. Okay. Now here the runtime exception doesn't uh, provide any value or any information about what kind of uh, things have got wrong due to which the exception is thrown. Right. So if we had a custom exception like movie not found exception, so that would be a very crystal clear message, right? That, okay, the exception that we are getting is because of movie not found because some due to the invalid ID, maybe the movie is don't exist with that ID. So we are going to discuss the exception handling in GraphQL API. So uh, before beginning our topic, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos and you can explore the playlist. Currently our two playlists, Spring Boot GraphQL and Java Course 2023, both are going on. So you can explore both. And if you like the content, if you like any video, you can, you, you can press the like button and share the video further. Let's start our topic of discussion. That is exception handling. So the first thing that we are going to do is to make this exception as meaningful. So to make this exception as meaningful, we will create a new exception class, a custom exception class. So we will name it as movie not found exception. Okay. So this is the custom exception class that we have created, but uh, currently it doesn't exist. So it is giving us the option. So we will create the custom exception class and we will create it in the package exception. So the benefit of IntelliJ is that even though this exception package doesn't exist, it will create for you. So here you can see it has provided the class name. It has created the class and it has provided you with the constructor. So that's good. Now we have to extend this class with the runtime exception. And here the we have to call the super constructor of the parent class. So we will just say as a better message will pass here. Okay. A meaningful names are more important. So this is a custom exception that we have created. In case you don't know about the custom exceptions, uh, you can check out a video on exception handling on our channel. I have discussed in detail about how to create custom exceptions. So you can check it out. I will pro provide the uh, link in the I, I button. So this is the first step you have to do. Now, since this is done, let's change this also to movie not found exception. So this part we have done. Now we will at least get a meaningful exception, right? So which will indicate that okay the exception that we are getting is the movie not found exception means there is some invalid id passed right but now the thing is to handle the exception okay so how do we handle the exception so to handle the exception we need a again we will create a class now this class that we are creating we will handle the exception globally globally means across all the classes okay I'll explain you once we are creating it. So we'll say global exception handler. So this is we have created a global exception handler. What is the purpose of this class? This class, whether we are throwing the exception here in the service package or we, uh, we create or we are throwing the exception is being thrown in any other package that we are creating in our project, it will handle all those exceptions. We will handle all those exceptions in this class. So it is a centralized exception handling mechanism that the Spring Boot provides. But how does Spring Boot will know that you want to do a centralized exception handling approach? So for that, you have to annotate this class with controller advice. Now controller advice annotation indicates to the Spring Boot that, okay, this class should handle all the exceptions that arise from those methods or arise from all the methods that are called by any controller. Okay. So if you see here, all these methods 
we have defined in the controller now here in the update movie con handler the method that we have defined for updating the movie in the controller this is calling a service class method in case id is invalid it will throw an exception from where the exception will be thrown from movie service class it will be thrown right but this movie service class method is being called from movie controller and so therefore we have to annotate it with the controller advice second thing is we have to define a method that what kind of exception we want to create or oh, sorry what kind of exception we want to handle so we will say public for now i will write void and we want to handle movie not found exception okay also we want an object of movie not found exception so to uh, get all the message from it so we will say movie not found exception ex now in graphql when you are handling the graphql exception since we are working with graphql apis so we will annotate this method with add graphql exception handler so it indicates that we are handling an exception of the graphql apis okay also this here the return type we have to we, ca we can't have a void return type because we don't have to print anything on console or uh, we don't have to log the exception we have to actually display the ex exception to the user so for that you need to return some format or some message to the user in a particular for format right so in uh, spring boot graphql you uh, spring boot provides you one class which is spring which is so this graphql error if you go here it has an interface okay which is responsible for displaying all the uh, custom error results okay so if you see here it has attributes like message get locations get error type get path get extension all these things it has so we will see how this works and in graphql it is very simple to uh, handle the exceptions so you just have to write return graphql exception error builder you have to write return graphql error dot new error so if you go here to the new error it returns an instance of the graphql error builder okay so we need a instance of it then it says then we pass message and what message we want to pass so the message we will get from the exception object so exception dot get message and then we will call build and it's as simple as that now we need to rerun our application to uh, for this exception handling to work okay but i have started the server before so let's first test it out so in here you can see i have uh, four movies right if i query again i get four movies i have added more movies into it here in the update movie handler or in the deletion movie handler if you can see i am trying to wait i just commented first i am trying to pass a uh, id 3 and trying to delete a movie with id3 now here if you see we have a movie with id5 with id4 with id1 and with id2 but we don't have any movie with id3 so let's see what it does so if we execute the query we are getting an internal error and no such messages is there and if you come here in the run section we are getting a big stack trace or okay only here we are getting the message so this is before we are uh, this is being considered we have not yet rerun our application so you have seen this before in the previous video now we will restart our application and let's see what changes now so our application is up and running with no problem again we go here we uh, load the page first before firing this i just want to make sure that this is working right so if i fire this we are getting all the movies so movie with id 2 1 4 and 5 all we are getting fine but we don't have a movie with id 3 so let's try to delete a movie with id 3 so first let's try to delete a movie with id 5 it is a data that i, I have added for the deletion purpose also. so if i fire this query so you can see we get a message movie deleted with id5 and here the sql query ran now since we don't have a uh, the movie with id5 again i fired the query and now you see what happened now here it is saying message movie with given id not exists so before it was saying internal error now it is saying with the custom message so it is more readable the error is getting more readable but what about the stack traces so let's see that so here if you see here we have not got any stack trace right why because we have 
successfully handled the exception correct so here we were throwing the exception but using this method and this class the exception is handled right and this handle exception we can see here now if you want you can update these locations extensions classification all these things as for your requirement but most important thing here is message so i have just uh, put the message and uh, build up the exception handler okay so this is how we handle the exception in graphql now you, you can create more such methods where different custom exceptions can be there and in this similar way you can create more methods to handle different types of exceptions in your spring boot graphql apis so i hope you have understood the complete concept of it and now you must be confident of doing exception handling in graphql so if you like this content, please like the video and save the, this playlist. Till now we have uh, created all the basics of the GraphQL and Spring Boot. More such videos will be coming up. You can uh, save this playlist here. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe to the channel for getting the notification for other such interesting videos. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.